From 1987 and part of a double pack from Eureka Classics is Rich and Famous, um, the first in this two-part gangster saga. Now, I've only watched part one as yet. I'm curious to see where part two goes, but this one feels very familiar. It's taking lots of tropes from the kind of gangster stories that you've seen before and melds them together in a really solid film. Never really exceptional, but it does what it does really well. And we have a story here of two brothers. Brothers played by Alan Tam and Andy Lau, who's always great, who are up through the ranks. One of them is very risk averse and one of them just loves any kind of gambling or risk whatsoever, always getting the family into trouble. <laughs> always making sure that his brother Andy Lau is going to have to come and rectify the situation somehow. Save the day. Stop him from getting severely hurt. There's a sister as well who always kind of gets pulled into their shenanigans at the best of time. It's basically got a brother who can't control himself getting this family into deeper and deeper situations. <laughs> And it's kind of endearing to start with. It's all small, petty crimes. They're doing little things to try and get by, Just get food on the table. Ultimately, it expands. With about the 20 minute mark, we get the inclusion of Chow Yun Fat as the boss who comes into this one of, of a gang who takes a kind of shining to the brothers, allowing them into his team, looking after them, but constantly being frustrated by some of the ineptitude that they show throughout the film. I kind of like this one because of the action set pieces. Now, when it gets to the finale, where we have a wedding sequence and what follows, it's phenomenal. And if the film had more action set pieces like that, I would have liked it more than I did. But this is all a lot of character building, getting the motivations, understanding the various kinds of factions of these gangs, how they interact, how they have almost board um, meetings to kind of talk about various things, uh, the kind of traditions that are brought up. <laughs> The lack of originality doesn't really hamper this one in my eyes. I was fascinated with the, the performances that we've got here. Some great performances as well. We've got Alan Tam in this uh, one as well. A host of kind of familiar faces that I'd seen. The rags to riches kind of storyline is something that's been done many times before. But what you're seeing here is the breakdown of, I would say, a family unit as we watch these two brothers and to a certain extent the sister slowly realise that they're, they're almost causing each other harm or certain factions are, they could do with some kind of distance. They've been brought up, they've been struggling to survive, struggling to cope together and rather than make their mark and move away, they're still together dragging each other down. Rather than making life better for each other, they're making it worse. Like I said, there are a couple of standout action set pieces. The finale is phenomenal and I'm really interested to see where the story goes next. I've heard it's more action centric, more explosions, uh, more fighting sequences, just more kind of straightforward to that. So I'm wondering if this is going to be a great build up of story of characters getting them into a position and then unleashing fury in part two, which I, I hope ends up that way. Uh, Rich and Famous was really kind of fun. Although it rides the tropes of gangster movies, it does them fairly well and kept me engaged throughout and it's a fairly quick run time at an hour and 44 minutes. So let's dive into the disc of this one, see what extras we have. Here we are in the disc for Rich and Famous. You'll see there's several options here. You've got the restored original Cantonese mono audio with Cantonese mono audio original theatrical mix. 
you've got the English dubbed audio and a commentary with Frank Jing. In the special features, we get the wonderful extra Dub Masters documentary, which is 21 minutes 19. It's talking to two people about the art of dubbing, how they got into it, and it is fantastic. A terrific extra, just something, a real curio, which I just loved uh, visiting. The Hong Kong theatrical trailer is 3 minutes 56 seconds and the English trailer is 3 minutes 59 seconds. And that's the extras for Rich and Famous. So there we have it. Rich and Famous already, an interesting start to this set. Once I have watched the second one, I'll let you know whether this is something you really need to pick up or not. So join me for the review for Tragic Hero soon. Other than that, I would love to know your opinion of Rich and Famous. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle, can't wait to find out what you thought of this one. There is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, membership program and manvfilm.com. All ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.